What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I'm up watching Marcos Maidana, Mayweather Part 2 Mayhem. Just re-watching it. I like to get a second viewing just to see if I miss anything, pick up on different things, subtle things that you might not see in the first viewing or so. Um, and it led me to this video, the title of this video, Why Marcos Maidana Had Some Success in Both Mayweather Fights. And I want to break it down. There's a lot of like hearsay and fans talking about... Um, Mayweather, uh, is he declining? Is he rapidly aging? And, and things like that. And I'm going to break down my thoughts, my particular thoughts. A lot of you guys get on here and say, oh, you're, you're dedicated to this person or you like this fighter. But I really just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? If someone does something, if fighter A does something that I approve of, I'll tell you that. If I appreciate their skill set and I see the talent, I'll tell you that. If they do something fucked up, I'll tell you that. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I get down. But... As far as Marcos Maidana in the Mayweather fight, he did have more success than other people. And when you get a guy like Mayweather who's been on the sport, dominant, um, for 18, 19 years or whatever it's been, anybody that has some success or wins some rounds, it becomes a big deal. Because I remember I'd, I actually didn't get to see I was working. I was traveling to Boston, I believe it was, uh, for work to film and I didn't get to see the Kodo Mayweather fight live. I was pissed and I was like, let me just wait. And I was going to try to wait, but I was going to be gone out of town for days. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, fuck that. So I went on Twitter and people were like, oh, Mayweather's nose is bloody. He's getting destroyed. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And I was seeing the outcome. You know what I mean? Red, okay, Mayweather won, da, da, da. And then I had recorded it. So when I got home, I watched the fight or watched the replay or whatever it was. And I'm like, this is what y'all was talking about? What they say Mayweather got two black eyes and a bloody nose? Where they at, though? <laughs> no, I was just like, really? So that's kind of what the standard is. You know what I mean? Mayweather gives away rounds or loses rounds. It's a big deal. It's a big ordeal. Like, that's crazy to me. In 18, 19 years of being a professional and fighting like several champions or former champions, um, people resort to little things like oh Castillo or um his glove touched the ground in the in the Zab Judah fight or he had a bloody nose with Cotto or recently Marcos Maidana nailed him if he had more time in the third round but he didn't you know what I'm saying and that's what you have to hold your whole argument on uh, a great shot that Marcos Maidana timed and landed flush you know what I'm saying that shot would have knocked down or knocked out some people so again I give props to Mayweather for his chin. So let's talk about Marcos Maidana. Now, I think he's an improving fighter. I think since he's partnered with Robert Garcia, he's kind of dedicated himself to his craft. And one thing that I told you, listen to my old videos, as I said this, one thing great about Marcos Maidana is he's willing, and he doesn't have the ego from what I've seen, he's willing to be the student and let the teacher teach. Not all fighters, especially his age, are willing to do that. Some people, you know what I mean, they've learned different things and they're resent they're resistant to change. Marcos Maidana came to Robert Garcia for help and he came as a blank canvas basically. He's like, tell me everything you know and you see it. You see it in him improving in his fight. He already had certain things that made him a formidable opponent and then he sharpened other things like his jab, the usage of his jab has been better even his defense if you watch the fight again both Mayweather fights his defense was better there were times where Mayweather tried to do the pull counter and Marcos Maidana he might have got hit with it but he was already retracting because he he got himself out of position throwing a punch that didn't land and Mayweather tried to counter with the pull counter and I seen Maidana he was trying to reset and trying to get back to position and he still got caught because Mayweather's pretty fast so the biggest reason, in my opinion, this is ego, why Marcos Maidana had some success with Floyd Mayweather is because Marcos Maidana simply does not give a fuck. I truly believe that. I think there's other things that you add to the equation that makes it uh, good. Like, like I just told you, we know he has power. His jab is getting really good um, and underrated. His defense is improving. Those are all great things. But the main reason I think that Maidana had some success is because he doesn't give a fuck. I mean, you, you're talking about a guy who came from the streets of Argentina. He was in gangs. 
um, been shot at, been shot in the back, has a bullet wound. He's been to prison. He's been in as the example, you know what I mean, to build up other fighters like Adrian Broner, Victor Ortiz, and pulled the upset. You know what I mean? He did those things. You know what I mean? Had a good showing with Amir Khan. He was expected to lose a lot of fights. And he did lose the Khan fight, but he held his own. You know what I mean? No one could say it was a one-sided domination. And it looked like it had the potential to be that if Marcos Maidana didn't have heart because he got dropped by a body shot, a great, wicked body shot by Khan in the first round. But truthfully, to me, that's it. That's what Marcos Maidana has that other people... And I'm not saying Marcos Maidana is the only warrior that Mayweather has fought. I consider Robert Guerrero a warrior too. I consider Canelo a warrior. You know what I mean? They've showed you in other fights. However, when they faced Mayweather, when the lights were shining bright, I feel they, as much of a warrior as they, those dudes are, they still didn't uh, come at Mayweather in a fearless method. To me, Marcos Maidana came at Mayweather and and treated that fight like he was Josecito Lopez. And that's very hard to do because this is a guy that everyone reveres as the number one pound for pound guy. He's been in the sport so long. And it's hard to do that, especially when you're in there with him and he's like picking you off and countering you and stuff like that. Maidana, just simply, he just has that I don't give a fuck attitude to me. You know what I mean? Like he's really willing to go out on his shield. And again, I consider Robert Guerrero or Canelo Warriors too, but Marcos Maidana is the next level of warrior, you know what I'm saying, in my opinion, and I'm not just trying to talk Marcos Maidana up, I really truly feel this, he showed you in his fights, not just this Mayweather fight, I mean, most people get stunned and stung with the body shot, they don't get back up, you know what I'm saying, Matthew Macklin versus Triple G, similar body shot, he did not get back up, Marcos Maidana in the first round when Amir Khan was his sharpest, he landed a precise, fast body shot that paralyzes you, Marcos Maidana simply did not give up. And he actually troubled Amir Khan in the later rounds. Josito Lopez, he, he landed a weird shot on Maidana's thigh, which those some of those shots debilitate you and, and fuck you up because it kind of like numbs you or paralyzes your mobility. You know what I'm saying? What did he do? He came back to stop Josito Lopez. Um, the Broner fight, it looked like he was getting fatigued and Broner started to come on a little bit towards the end. And he weathered that storm. To me, Marcos Maidana is just a tough motherfucker. That's, you know what I mean? That's really what it boils down to. He has that I don't give a fuck attitude. Canelo, he was, he seemed like he was thinking. He was trying to outbox Mayweather and all kinds of shit. Then he started getting picked apart because you can't outbox the masterclass boxer. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're Canelo, you know what I mean? He doesn't have the speed or skills to compete in that arena with that fighter. You know what I'm saying? He could do it to maybe a James Kirkland or somebody else, but or Angulo. But you got to know who you are as a fighter. And I think Canelo froze up and got discouraged mentally. You know what I'm saying? And had that mental breakdown. Same thing with Guerrero. He looked good the first two, three rounds maybe. And then Mayweather started to assess the data. And it was just, it was murder she wrote. And it looked like Guerrero could have got stopped. Now, I also think Mayweather could have stopped Maidana especially in the rematch because he didn't outweigh him by 15, 16 pounds. However, to do that would be a huge, huge gamble. And I don't think, and I think that takes Mayweather out of his comfort zone. Mayweather's a smart fighter. He's not going to go balls to the wall and go for the gusto and really step on the gas and press for a knockout when he's already winning and doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? That's just not his character. And rightfully so. It might not be as entertaining for fans or, or whatnot, but... You got to look at it. He has his legacy, his family, and you know what I mean? He always talks about, oh, I'm undefeated and stuff like that. Who wants to get a silly loss when you're winning like Pacquiao did against Marquez Four? That was a great fight. Pacquiao was clearly winning that round. Who knows? Had Pacquiao had a little bit more reserve, he could have just ended the round traditionally, went to his corner, and he could have possibly been the first person to stop Juan Manuel Marquez. You know what I mean? And he didn't because he got too gung-ho and he got caught and he got dropped and it was the end. You know what I'm saying? He got knocked out. So I think Maidana poses a lot of problems and Mayweather is a smart fighter. So I think he realizes that he could possibly stop him because that I think another thing that's underrated is Mayweather's body work in the second fight was ridiculous, sometimes subtle, 
And Maidana has a very good poker face, so some people might not have picked up on this. But he was clutching his stomach. He looked like he was wincing in pain. Like, he was really, truthfully affecting him with that body shots. The first fight, Maidana said it felt like Floyd was tickling him. And I honestly don't think he felt the same way in the second fight. That's my honest opinion. So, I, I think Mayweather could have stopped him, but it would have took him out of his element. And it would have been a huge gamble because there's nothing worse than trying to fuck with a wounded animal. You know what I mean? If you're going through the forest and you see a bear and his leg is caught in a bear trap, if you get close to that bear, he might try to grab you and fuck you up because he's in pain. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a you, you can't play with an animal that's wounded like that and expect shit to go good. You know what I mean? And Maidana has one fight or one punch fight changing power. You know what I'm saying? So... My, I think Mayweather's cognizant of that. He's not the strongest at welterweight. You know what I mean? He's not the biggest puncher at welterweight. So for him to have stopped Maidana, it would have required him to put himself into harm's way, let his hands go, and really, really try to, you know what I'm saying, put the icing on the cake. Um, but again, a lot of people compare little things. They're like, oh, Mayweather, if he fights Amir Khan, this would be a, this and that and that. Like... The fights I want to see, me personally, I want to see... There's only a few fights, too, from me, that I want to see Mayweather in. That's obviously Manny Pacquiao. That's a given. I would like to see Mayweather fight a Keith Thurman, Kell Brook, or Amir Khan. Those are my picks. And I would also like to see Mayweather fight Tim Bradley. I think those are all good fights. Those are sound fights. If you fought any of them dudes, right now... Barring nothing crazy happening, like they get knocked out in December or something like that, then I'm okay with any of those fights. However, a lot of people are are judging. Like you got you got to keep in mind, Mayweather just came from a, a dominant performance over Robert Guerrero and Canelo just last year. Plus, he has a style that it's less wear and tear than other f fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like Angulo's done. Like I'm, let me tell you, like respects to everything he's done, but he's done. You know what I mean? He just doesn't have the style. Um, it looks like he does. He, when you're a fighter built on toughness and power and stuff like that, and then those things start to to dissolve a little bit, then you're no longer the same person. Mayweather still has the brain, you know what I'm saying, that's ahead of other fighters, you know what I'm saying, so he could fight more. And people are basing a lot on Marcos Maidana. I think Marcos Maidana's style is truthfully... A poison to Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? That's why Mayweather um, looks susceptible at times or vulnerable at times. Maidana has power, he is unorthodox, and he he the main reason he doesn't give a fuck. He has that I don't give a fuck attitude. You know what I mean? So people are quick to say, "Oh, Mayweather's on the decline," and Pacquiao or Khan beats him. Those are all good fights. I give the guys that I just mentioned, I give them all an above average chance of beating Mayweather. It would be a good fight. That's why I want to see it. They could beat him. They could lose to him. Um, again, I give him above average, like average uh, chance or below average would be someone like Robert Guerrero. I didn't see him beating Mayweather. But I give anyone that I just listed an above average chance. Not saying they will beat him or they can beat him, but it's boxing. You know what I mean? Anything can happen. But I think a lot of people are judging the Maidana fights and saying, oh, Floyd's on the decline. And that's cool if, if you guys really feel that way. I don't so much feel that way. I think he's definitely slowed down. Um, he's not as fast as he once was. His offense isn't. He doesn't let his hands go like he did in the lighter divisions. That's not a question. And it's been that way for a minute. However, I think Maidana is Maidana. And that style, that exact style, gave Maidana some spots. You know what I mean? Where he looked good. But if you don't bring everything that Maidana brought to the table, then... It's irrelevant. Like Amir Khan, there's certain things Amir Khan does better than Maidana. There's certain things Maidana has that are above Amir Khan, in my opinion. So an Amir Khan versus Mayweather fight, to me, is different. The intrigue is um, the speed. That's what I want to see. But Amir Khan, in my opinion, doesn't have Maidana's chin, just like Maidana doesn't have Amir Khan's speed. So there's different variables involved. Um Keith Thurman, that's another good fight that I would love to see. He doesn't have the big fight experience that Maidana has had. Maidana's been to this level. He's been the main event before, you know what I mean? Victor Ortiz, Amir Khan, 
Um, he's been in the fight with uh, Adrian Broner. He's been in the spotlight, Josito Lopez. These are all big, high-profile fights, and most of them were main events. You know what I mean? Keith Thurman, as much as I like him, doesn't have that. Again, I give all these guys an above-average chance of beating Mayweather at this point, but some of you guys act as if it's a guarantee, like, oh, Khan will beat Mayweather based on Maidana, but to me, Khan doesn't crack like Maidana cracks at 147. In fact, Khan's only had one fight at 147, so, you know what I mean? Like, you can't, a lot of people in boxing, styles make fights, and a lot of people use other people's victories as a clear telltale reason of why another fighter will win, and it doesn't work like that. Just the same as um, Maidana giving Floyd trouble in, in spots, that's because his puzzle is different than someone else's puzzle. You know what I mean? Because Mayweather knows if he counters, he's countering with a big puncher and a guy that's rugged and tough and improving with a better jab. Now, the same problems might not be prevalent with the next fighter. You know what I'm saying? I, and honestly, Pacquiao in his prime, I would say he was fearless. After being knocked out, I don't see Pacquiao being the same fearless person. Again, it's still a good fight, but I still don't think he's as fearless as he once was. You know what I mean? You, you get knocked out, you're going to remember it. You know what I'm saying? So I think nowadays, that's why the Pacquiao Mayweather fight isn't as good as it, it was to me because Manny Pacquiao, he doesn't like, that's what they just talked about on the, on the face off. Does Pacquiao still have the desire, the fire burning? You know what I'm saying? So again, I'll watch the fight, but it's a different fight than Maidana. You know what I mean? And I question at this point who cracks harder at 147. Both guys are, you know what I mean? Unorthodox pack with his, uh, angles and stuff like that. But I really would say lean towards Maidana as having more power at 147 because the guys he's fought at 147, he stopped them and or hurt them really bad. You know what I mean? Visibly. Who is Pacquiao in recent memory like hurt? That's a true 147 pounder. You know what I mean? Like Timothy Bradley, okay, he hurt him in spots. But Bradley in his first fight with Pacquiao, that was his second fight at welterweight. And it wasn't even set like two in a row. He fought Luis Carlos Abregu, then dropped back down to 140, and then later moved back up to fight Pacquiao at welterweight. And then um, I think he is—he was only—he only had the Pacquiao fight at welterweight and Ruslan fight at welterweight, and then he fought Pacquiao again. So Timothy Bradley, and he's not that big of a puncher, but Bradley isn't—you know what I'm saying? You could say he wasn't as acclimated as. Josecito Lopez or Jesus Soto Carras, who spent more time at a higher weight. Josecito at least had the Victor Ortiz fight. Then he moved up to 54. And I think he might have had another fight in between that. So it's just all different fights. There's a lot of variables. You got to put them in. I gave you my list of opponents I would like to see Mayweather fight. But those are all different fights than Maidana because Maidana is Maidana. Um, just the same way, I would say the same thing. Because Marquez knocked out. Pacquiao doesn't mean Mayweather will. You know what I'm saying? It, it there's differences. Marquez had four like four shots at it, four chances to do it. You know what I mean? And I think too many people want to rejoice off of other people's victories. Like, oh, Maidana gave Floyd problems. Amir Khan will do the same. Does Amir Khan have Maidana's chin? Is he gonna be fearless if he's hurt? You know what I'm saying? Like Maidana was. So you gotta put everything into perspective. Let me know what you guys think. Who poses the, the most problem for Mayweather? Uh, do you feel Marcos Maidana is fearless? Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off.